All right, y'all. You know, it is Lady C, and we are back. So let's get into this grocery haul. Um, hubby and I, while we were out shopping, we're off today. Yay. Um, we came back from Delaware. We decided to go to our local commissary, which is the military grocery store. My husband's retired military, retired Navy. Um, we decided to go grocery shopping because usually when we pick our meats up at the commissary, they're a little cheaper, although the prices have been creeping up. So if you're military and you use the commissary, you know. But we also picked up some other things. So let's get into what we picked up. We picked up some eggs. My husband loves Evelyn's Best, you guys. If he can buy these and they're not too expensive, um, he will pick them up. I will go through some of the pricing at the end. Um, these are Eglin's Best. This is the 12 Eggs Grade A Large. He loves these. We picked them up. We are going to start our chili tonight um, because Sundays are football for my husband. That's tomorrow. And we wanted to have some uh, green pepper. We did not feel like cutting it up. So this was a pretty large container of green pepper, you guys. And this was only $2.50. So we decided to go ahead and buy this because we're going to cut this up. And I think he's going to put it in the chili. I'm not sure, but we will be using it. Okay? So that was that. Um, they had some salads. I love these easy made salads. Um, I like to have these for my lunch. I work from home. So you can just grab these and go. These are the Ready Pack Bistro Spinach Dijon with Sweet Onion Dijon Vinaigrette. These are really, really good. Um, I also picked up the chicken queso fresco one. And my husband, he loves chef salad. So we got the chef with turkey and ham uh, with creamy ranch dressing for him. Now, we already have pumpkins outside, you guys. Hubby's already decorated. But we walked into the commissary and they had pumpkins with all the different um, services on there. Like they had ones with Navy, uh, ones with... Uh, Army, ones with um, Air Force. So husband is retired Navy. So we picked this one up and it says, I don't know, it just says America's Navy. And then it says United States Navy here. It has the stamp. Hubby was excited. So we're going to put this outside also. I think it was like $4.99 or something like that. Um, Let's go on. Let's see. So we're making chili, but we wanted to put, we're also gonna put some ground sausage in our chili. Hmm. So this is a Ta Johnsonville Italian sausage, mild, all natural. And um, we picked that up. Now, we're not using this for our chili. We're gonna make our chili with turkey meat, um, but we, because we don't eat a lot of ground beef, but I picked up one small pack of the ground beef just to have on deck, because sometimes we do eat like to eat uh, hamburgers with ground beef or we do like to make other things with ground beef um this is the ground beef 80 percent lean and this was let's see that's a small pack three dollars and ten cents it's only 1.21 pounds so it's a very small pack um just something for us to have on hand in case we need it you guys already saw the sausage um so we picked up now we did pick up one thing of the mild sausage and one thing of the Johnsonville Italian sausage hot. Cause I'm gonna mix the two a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna use both packs. I'll probably take half of the mild, half of the hot um, and mix that ground sausage with a pack of the ground turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This should be good for the chili. We're trying this out. So we picked up two packs of the Shady Brook Farms 93% lean, 7% fat ground turkey. Um, yeah, we picked up two packs. I only picked up two packs because um, I like to have another one on deck because we use ground turkey for like a lot. So I always like to have this um, on deck so that I can cook with it whenever I need to. So I bought two packs. Um, we then bought, I have not done a beef roast in a long time because you know beef is getting expensive um so i saw this this was 1.90 pounds um the total price was eight dollars and 49 cents it looks nice you know look at this meat you guys look pretty has the marbling going through it and this is just good enough for me and hubby so i picked this up for us we'll have beef well, we'll have um, a roast one night with some potatoes yummy yummy 
Um, then hubby, we saw some ribs. We love ribs. Um, and you know, just looking for a good price. Um, these were the bone in pork loin baby backs. My husband loves baby backs, you guys. And the total price was $8.65, which is really, really good. So we went ahead and picked those up too. Um, their chicken wings were reduced. Um, let's see, I don't know whether we saved the dollar because we might have forgotten to take uh, this coupon off. Save a dollar on the purchase of one package of Tyson Fresh Chicken, which I don't know whether we took this coupon off, you guys. So this was originally $10.59. We got it for $7.08. And we could have saved another dollar, but I don't think we used the coupon. Wah, wah. But anyway, to get a family pack of chicken wings these days, I was so excited to get it for $7.08. I didn't even look at the coupon. So, oh, well, that's my bad. So we did pick these up also. We're going to break this pack up into smaller Ziploc bags um, so that we can eat off of it. Because we it's just me and my husband, and we don't need this whole family pack at one time. So that's what we're going to do with that. Um, we picked up some blue bonnet. Um, my husband likes to have the margarine sticks. So we picked that up. Um, we picked up some sea salt. I love sea salt. I don't usually, we don't usually use regular salt. So we picked up a Morton grinder of the sea salt. We always need vegetable oil. So we just picked up the Freedom Choice, which is the commissary brand of the 100% pure vegetable oil. Now, these were in like a sale thing. I'll have to look and see what the price on them was. But these are by the Honey Pot Company. Now, my daughters, you know, they're new wave girls and they're into this. Honey Pot makes pads and they're supposed to be all natural. I didn't need pads. I like to have the liners for my underwear on the daily. You know, you just want to make sure you are fresh and clean, clean down there. So I picked these up. These are the organic incontinence liners, herbal infused cotton liners with wings. Um, mint, lavender, and alo aloe, they're plant-derived incontinence. Now, I don't think of them as incontinence. I think of them as just liners for any natural, you know, things that you got going on. Um, let's see, you guys. This says, I was suffering with bacterial vaginosis for eight months when an ancestor came to me in a dream and gifted me with a vision to heal myself. With her help, I created the Honey Pot to solve for what other brands, whoops, for what other brands couldn't through the power of herbs. So they're all herbal. Um, it's supposed to be good for you. My daughters use the actual pads, um, you know, for their period. So, you know, they say they love them and they're better for you. Um, it says made by humans with made by humans with vaginas for humans with vaginas um, because it takes one to know one. Okay, uh, comfortable, competent, clean. Um, so I picked up one. The green I think is supposed to be just a liner. And then I think I accidentally picked up the pinkish color. And those are, it shows the pink as being for daytime protection. Like, I don't know, I get give this to my daughters. So I picked those up. Honey Pot, the Honey Pot Company, you guys, all natural. Um, what else did we get? Oh, okay, we picked up some creamer. This is the um, International Delight French Vanilla Creamer. Picked this up for hubby because he likes, this is the iced coffee, you guys. This is the Starbucks iced coffee, medium roast, um, smooth and balanced, unsweetened, uh, premium coffee beverage, 15 calories. He likes cold, the cold coffees. So what we're gonna start doing, because he had been going to Starbucks, going to McDonald's and buying his coffees, okay? I'm going to start buying this, you guys, and see if we can do better than the pricing we're getting at Starbucks and McDonald's. So we have the creamer. We have the coffee. Um, and I also bought some caramel so the hubby could drizzle the caramel over his coffee. Um, he does not want any of the um, whipped topping. So we're going to start trying to make him um, these coffee drinks and see if we can save some money uh, rather than going to McDonald's and... Um, you know, Starbucks. So I'll let you guys know how that works out. We picked up some onion, white onion. And I just wanna show you guys what I'm doing with my little Halloween basket. I did do this basket for fall, but now I'm trying to get it together for Halloween. So I added some little skeletons, some little eyeballs, um, you know, just to be scary. 
and for now you guys that's about it we're going to work on our chili tonight um and that is about it i may have another dollar tree haul for you guys please don't forget you guys to like comment and share it's very important to the channel if you guys want me to stay around um please support the channel um just let them know that you like me you can push that like button um, share me out with all your family and all your friends, anyone who you think would be interested in Lady C, um, and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you a dime. Subscribe if you find me at the least bit interesting, you guys, and I mean the least bit. Um, so, you know, again, the like, comment, and subscribe is very important. Leave me a comment. Tell me what I'm doing. Tell me what I'm not doing. You know, I, I have very, you know, I can take it. I can take it. I'm a big girl. Um, but anyway, I love you guys. I hope you're having a great, 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 great weekend. Um, to all my new subscribers, hello, Lady C loves you. Um, to all my ride or dies, you know I love you guys. You just keep coming back for more, and I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, everybody, stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll be back with another one. Talk to you guys later now. Bye-bye. Hey, y'all, it's Lady C in the place to be. Lady C's Lifestyles. And we are here with a Friday haul. Just help me picking up some things that we need over the weekend. Um, just a quick, it's a mixture of, let's see, commissary, on base, uh, military, grocery store shopping, and a little bit of, I think hubby might have went to Walmart, you guys. So anyway, let's get into it. Um, as I'm doing this, you guys, I'm reminding you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, you guys. I need those subscriptions. Doesn't cost you a thing. And if you press the like button, it doesn't cost you anything. So please do that before you exit the video. Um, first of all, I hope you picked up some of his bowls. He loves these. Um, we buy them. They don't have to be name brand. We do buy these from like Dollar General, no name brand. But he likes a good bowl. Um, these are Dixie Ultras. You get 25 bowls, 20 ounce. And these are the ultimate strength for whatever you dish out. Soak proof, microwavable, and cut resistant. Now, we do buy, like, the Dollar General name brand, different places. So, we don't, we don't discriminate. Um, Hubby also picked up some Dixie plates. Um, again, these are two times stronger versus the leading store brand. Soak proof shield, microwavable, and cut resistant. And you get 50 plates, eight and a half inches. I'll try to give you guys some pricing, but I don't know what we have. Um, I don't know if I have the receipts. Hubby also picked this up. He is always grilling, you guys. And I also use these for my candles. Um, this is the King Utility Lighter. And it's just a basic lighter. We can always use. They're always going out because we use these so much. Um, we picked up some. Yeah, these look like they came from. Walmart, this is great value, everyday party cups. You get 25 cups. These are 25 cups, 18 ounce. And we're always needing cups. We like to buy these kind instead of having to wash regular cups. Um, Hubby went to the Amish market. I told you this is everything haul. Um, Hubby went to the Amish market and picked up, we love this, you guys. This is, um, oh, what is uh? God, you guys, I just said it. Hot milk cake. And it's like a pound cake, but it's old school. I never had heard of hot milk cake until Hubby had went and got some from the Amish market. This is so good, and they're really, really moist. Oh, this is, this is good cake, you guys. Good, good cake. So we got two slices of that because we don't like to share this with each other. So we got two slices of that. Um, Hubby picked up some of our favorites. Um... These are just Funyuns. Who remembers Funyuns? Onion flavored rings. Um, net weight two and one eighth ounce. And these are just little snacks for us to eat on when we're watching our movies or just hanging out over the weekend. So he picked up Funyuns and my favorite, he knew, he knew. Me and my husband have been married for 25 years. He knows me. Um, my favorite, favorite snack in the entire world, besides anything chocolate or whatever, um, they're Fritos Barbecue. So you can't find this version of the Fritos barbecue. They like to have those Fritos that have the twirly things and 
um, their honey barbecue. But these are the originals and these are the good ones. So you have to look for them. Um, hubby got these. Uh, hubby, you get these from Walmart? No. Okay, he got these from um, the exchange on base. Okay, so we got three bags of these because it's so hard to find them, you guys. So hard. So he picked those up. My favorite. Um, he also picked up some hickory smoked bacon. This is a great value. This came from Walmart. Um, some great value dill jerkins. Yeah, 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 yeah. That good old pickle. Um, and he picked up some tonic water. I'm guessing this is key lime. Yeah, so he picked that up. He also picked up some hamburger buns. He's going to grill us some um, hamburgers and hot dogs for uh, dinner today. We're just going to do something real easy, fast, and basic. He picked up some Polish sausage. These we have been getting. They are so, so good, you guys. Bone them style. Yes, they are. These are delicious, you guys. And, and then we just got some um, hamburger meat for our hamburgers. Um, you guys were making jokes saying my husband's always photobombing my videos. Yes, he always has something to say. He doesn't like to do videos. He doesn't really like to be in them, but he always has something to say. He is a mess, y'all. Love him to death. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, we're going to make up some burgers and those sausages tonight. He's going to do some fries, so I will come back and show you guys what we're eating on, but that is about it for now. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers, to all my ride or dies. You know I love y'all for coming back every time, and I'll be coming at y'all later. I do intend on doing some shopping this weekend, so I already have some hauls, you guys. I'm backed up. I got so, I've been shopping entirely too much, and I have not had time to do the hauls. So you guys got my DT haul, but I now have another DT haul that I have got to get together and edit and, you know, do a video on. So when I do that, I will be putting it out for you guys. Talk to y'all later. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Lady C loves you. Bye-bye now. Hey, y'all. It's Lady C in the place to be. Lady C's lifestyles. Well, it's early in the morning, you guys. And a lot of times I have to do everything early in the morning because I got to work. Um, so I wanted to put together my daughter's... Um, I don't know, boo bags for Halloween. So I had some things um, that I wanted to get for them. Now I did pick up, these were a bag, a set of two that I got from Dollar Tree. Ain't they cute, you guys? Here's Frankenstein Monster. And here is the mummy, the cute mummy. And then there was one set that just had, um, let me show y'all, chocolate lanterns on it. Um, so I'm going to give my daughter, one of my daughters, the jack-o'-lantern, and I think I'm going to give one of them the Frankenstein monster. All right, you guys. So I got a bag of the Krabby Patties. My one daughter loves these. She loves SpongeBob, but uh, it's a big bag, so I'm going to put some in both bags for them. Um, I got them some socks. These were from Dollar Tree. Um, the crew socks. Y'all had to, excuse me, I just ran upstairs to go get the socks. Um... Crew socks, and these are size 6 through 12, and they have the pumpkins. That's probably going to go in the pumpkin bag. And then I found these crew socks, size 6 to 12, and this is Frankenstein. So that's probably going to go in the Frankenstein bag. Aren't they cute? So I'm going to give them those. Um, I had already bought these from the store. These are the body prescriptions. Creep it real. For Halloween, ain't that cute? Vanilla almond body scrub. Let's see how that looks on the top. So, let's see, you guys. These were $5.99. I did haul these. So, this is going in one bag. And then this one is the Body Prescriptions Hocus Pocus Vanilla Almond Exfoliating Body Scrub. That's what it looks like on the top. And this is also $5.99. So, that's going in another bag. Um... I love, love, love to give my kids, um, you know, hand sanitizer. And I get these from Bath and Body Works. I bought a whole pack, so all I have to do is take some out of here and put them in the bag. So I'll do that. And then I bought some packs of Dove Chocolate from Dollar Tree. Just small little packets. I put those in there. And then I have a whole bag that I ordered from Amazon of the Dum Dum Lollipops. And I'll put some of those in there for them. And that's all they're getting, you guys. So... Um, I'm going to put these bags together and then I'll show you. 
Okay, you guys, so here are the finished bags. They're just so cute. Look at them, you guys. They are so cute. Um, so I filled them up, you guys. There's the Krabby Patties, the body scrubs, the socks, um, the candies. These are everything for my daughters. Filled these up, and these are their little boo bags. So they'll get these, you know, like a little bit before Halloween. Um, I got to get some tissue paper. I wanted to put some tissue paper on the tops and then a little card, like a little mini card to stick on them, you know, just to say happy Halloween for them. Um, but that's how I'm finishing up their boo bags. I got this example from, so I'm not going to, you know, didn't think of this on my own. Got this example from some people on um, YouTube. Cannot think of who did it, but you guys know um, you watch different people. They did do boo bags for their kids. Um, and my kids are older, so, you know, I don't do that much. Um, but they're older and they do expect candy, you guys. They still expect their mommy to give them candy. So I have to do something. So I give them a little bit of everything, you know. Um, I included, again, like I included the, um, the hand sanitizer and all that. Um, and you can get a lot of inexpensive things from Dollar Tree, which I did mix in. Um, Dollar Tree with Beth Body Works, you know, with uh, Marshalls, you know. So just do something real cute. If, it, if they're smaller kids, they probably want candy. Um, but I give them things they like and try to add it all in. Again, I'm going to add some tissue paper to cover these up and also put Halloween cards in here for them. And that's going to be it. I have actually three daughters. Um, one lives in Arizona. So I will probably put something together on Amazon for her and send her some type of boo bag she does have two children two sons and um they don't i don't think they really celebrate halloween so i may just send the little boys some books like fall type books things like that um because i say even if you don't celebrate halloween you know give your kids something because the other children are getting candy they're having a good time so you want to make sure your children have a good time also so i will probably send them some books you know, for the kids, um, you know, around like fall and things like that. So, um, we will be doing that also. So make sure everybody's taken care of. I may also have some things left over. So I probably will make one for my sister also, cause she will love this. So, um, you know, it's just something fun to do. Sometimes you can sit around and, um, if you're making them for other family members, you could sit around with your family, uh, your children, your husband, and just make up the bags together. And that would be kind of fun, like a fun little fall thing to do, pre-Halloween type thing to do. Um, you know, if you got neighbors that you want to give things to, you could sit around, make cupcakes, um, make candy bags for your neighbors. You know, we used to do that. We had neighbors that would make candy bags for our kids and hand them out, um, come over and give them to us on Halloween. So it's a lot of fun things you can do with the fall, with the Halloween thing. So, you know, you guys just do something that's fun and makes you feel good. Lady C is out. Don't forget you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. I need those likes. Like, like, like. Push the button. Push the button. It doesn't cost you anything to push that like button. Also doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to the channel. If you have not subscribed, you guys come on and subscribe. Join the Lady C tribe and we're going to have fun. We're going to shop. We're going to eat. We're going to cook and we're going to talk. So come on in and check me out. Love you guys to death. Thanking all my new subscribers. Thanking all my ride or dies that just keep coming in and watching me. And um, that's about it, you guys. We're about to start the weekend. Today is Friday. We have made it. And I love y'all so much. Gotta go now. Bye-bye.